Ladies and gentlemen, meet Homer Alienovich Jr. the third. He's a 25-year-old prospect I've added to the 2023 NBA draft hailing from a place called Valparaiso. I have never heard of such a place, but Google tells me it's either the second largest city in the country of Chile or a village of approximately 15 people in Saskatchewan, Canada. This man may as well be from Mars. More importantly, Homer will be entering the NBA with a pure 99 overall rating. Somehow not a single NBA scout could figure out which Valparaiso he was from and he went unnoticed until he was 25 years old. So inspiring. I'll be mostly hands off as we watch his entire career play out. Maybe just one or two moments of intervention. We'll see. Year one, the Cleveland Cavaliers beat the Denver Nuggets in the finals, but we don't really care. What we care about is the draft lottery and the Magic have the best odds with the Rockets up there. The okay, the Nets. Oh no. And it's the Pelicans. What? And the Nets are the third. Do the Nets have their first round pick? The Pelicans? Ain't no way. Homer Alienovich Jr. the third draft by the New Orleans Pelicans first overall. Not that we really care, but Victor did go to Detroit number two. I literally cannot imagine a better landing spot for the alien than alongside Zion Williamson, Brandon Ingram, CJ McCollum, who gets insane simulations in this game. Wow. Just imagine the duo of a smooth shooting and playmaking. He can do everything to guard alongside Zion Williamson, potentially the biggest threat on the interior in NBA history. The new dynamic duo in the NBA basically broke the league immediately. And indeed, Homer Alienovich Jr. the third enters the NBA and usurps Luka Doncic. Of course, he also won Rookie of the Year. And my guy got DPOI. Uh-oh. This might have been a little bit too easy. Him being on the Pels is just OP. New Orleans cruised to 72 wins, tying the Bulls for the second most all time. He didn't average 40. A triple-double though, yes. Those are like light Luka Doncic numbers. Round one, I'm I'm, I'm sorry, Portland. This is about to be bad. They lose one game to uh, Portland. Round two against Nikola Yo I mean, he's old news, right? Like, come on. He doesn't stand a chance. Nope, that is a sweep. Homer averaged 30 a game to win West Finals MVP. And the NBA Finals, that was too easy. I didn't even need to jump in to see. The New Orleans Pelicans chip in year one. Adding a 99 overall player to the fold who can play make, who can score and defend. The Pelicans were too good to begin with. But what can you do? Year two, is this a simple back-to-back -back for the now 26-year-old Alienovich Jr. the third? Season two, second MVP for the Alien. Although again, kind of muted numbers. NBA media media loves this man. He won DPOY again too. Another crisp year, including the Pelicans finishing first, but only 64 wins, which is pretty good first in the West, but you've got the best player in the world, well, in any world, and you only win 64 games? Maybe it has to do with the fact Homer did not sign a contract extension, and he's playing the Pelicans to a first round sweep. The Timberwolves in round two, they can't touch him. Okay, so he's going to have nightmares about the West finals against the Pelicans, because for the second straight year, it's an easy victory. Homer winning finals, oh yeah, yeah. West finals, he turned up. Ultimate deja vu two years in a row. Can the Cavaliers at least take a game off the alien? Can they? Oh, they do. They, uh, yeah, but they, they, uh, they aren't making it a series. Nope. I mean, they took one game. That's slight improvement, but Homer Alienovich Jr. The third completes his second straight perfect season. MVP DPOY finals MVP. But in a shocking twist of events, apparently he wasn't taught loyalty in Saskatchewan. Homer Alienovich Jr. The third is a free agent. Where are you, Homer? Oh, okay. He signed with the Bucks. Yo, I thought I was on the all players tab because I saw Giannis's name who re-signed with the Bucks, and how did they also afford Donovan Mitchell? My man's is running from the grind to another insane position. <laughs> oh. I mean, that just shook me to the core, man. I do not know what, the, like, yeah, he's never gonna lose a game, like, in his entire career. Now in arguably an even better position, how is Homer Alienovich ever gonna be stopped? Oh, wow. Victor Wembenyama. I mean, he still won DPOI, and those are pretty impressive numbers. Giannis made first team. Homer did not. Oh, the young man's taking a back seat. And Milwaukee was actually only the two seed. Wow. Not the outright best player on his team. Didn't win MVP and his team lost a few games. Oh, and in round one, the team he's dominated twice already in the playoffs, the Cleveland Cavaliers. And yeah, they just got swept. Okay. In round two, it's Scoot, Henderson, Lamella, but they picked up Ant Edwards. Oh yeah, that's good. And oh, a seven game series. The NBA's figuring them out. It might not be this year. It might not be these Orlando Magic, but slowly and surely the NBA is figuring out the alien in the play. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they advance. Will it be the Memphis Grizzlies who finally put an end to this madness? The Bucks do take game two. Oh, it's over. It's it's over. Why am I trying to make this dramatic? Well, oh, wait a minute. Let's hold on a second then, fam. Is Homer choking in the finals? He's already won two. Is he getting tired of it? Oh, they do. Okay. A reverse sweep might be impossible to recover from. Oh my word. Oh my word. Oh my goodness. This is unprecedented. Memphis up 11 in game seven. Homer, you got to do something, buddy. 
you're about to get reverse swept. A mid-range. Mid and he bricked it. He bricked it. And one Jaron Jackson. Oh, they're going out sad, these bucks. On, but he choked. He choked in game seven, 11 and 10 on three of 12 shooting. The guy that people are saying is the best player on the planet revealed himself to be the mentally weakest superstar we've ever seen. Okay, year two back with the Bucks. Can they recover? Only two years left for Homer on this contract as well. Wow, Victor wins his second straight MVP. Fourth consecutive DPOY for Homer though, but his assist numbers are dropping and he's still not on first team all NBA. That's, that's kind of crazy. I, I'm actually surprised by that. I mean, averaging 23, eight assists, not what you'd expect from a 99 overall but regardless first round against the wizards uh, should be no problem i don't know what i just called them. second round against the bulls same deal yeah same deal five games this is it the bucks versus the pistons victor Cade versus Giannis and homer milwaukee does have donovan mitchell which is an advantage but the pistons have a bit better oh it's over it's over homer's reign of terror it's done it's done swept oh my word look at who's in the finals too okay well the pelicans lost but they did get back there even without homer third and final year on homer's deal with the Bucks, Mitchell's contract is coming to an end. They've been unable to add any substantial depth, and I think it's costing the Bucks here. Season five, Homer back atop the NBA. 24, 11, and eight. That's more like it. As a result of it, oh my word, the Bucks are the one seed, but look who we're playing. Look who Milwaukee's playing now. Victor Wembinyana, Cade Cunningham, please, not again. Homer did not sign a contract extension, and Giannis is now also a 99. This is crazy. Oh, they added Gary Trent. That's actually a smart pickup there. Okay. A first round playoff series win. That's the uh, bare minimum. Bronny James on the Bulls. Okay. They're a pretty deep team, but this should be a nice Bucks series win. Yeah. This might be Homer's revenge year. Yeah. The Nets aging KD. I don't really think Milwaukee needs to be scared here. This should be probably another sweep. Oh, it went seven. Okay. It went seven, but Milwaukee did survive. In the playoffs, Homer is showing he is indeed him. 28, 11, and nine. Will it be enough against the Thunder who have Isaiah Collier, Chet, Holm? Yeah. The Thunder always gets stacked. Game one, OKC. Game two, OKC. Game three, OKC. Oh my word. A sweep. Homer Alienovich III went to Milwaukee and fell flat on his face three years in a row. And he declined the player option he wants out of Wisconsin. Or he just wants a lot more money, which I respect. Indeed, no Homer on the Bucks. We're going to find out from the all players page right away. So Luca's in Philly. What? Homer is in Denver. Okay. And Jason Tatum technically better than him. That's crazy. Moment of truth, Jokic re-signed there. And oh my word, they are a complete two-man show. This is uh, this is gonna be interesting for his individual numbers, but I don't see much playoff success here for Homer. The alien signed a four-year deal though in Denver, so we better get used to him in these colors. Year six, it's Victor back atop the NBA. I don't think Homer's ever gonna miss a DPOY. Now the Nuggets were the four seed, so obviously the duo of Homer and Jokic who posted almost identical stat lines, yeah, that works. But what about in the playoffs? I'm concerned for them. And Round one, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. First rounded Homer, what are you doing, brother? And the year six champs are the OKC Thunder, led by Isaiah Colley. Season seven, not much that can be done to this Nuggets roster. Jalen Duran a bit better, but that lack of depth, man, it's gonna kill him. Oh my word, Victor just keeps winning MVP. I will update us all if Homer doesn't win DPOI. Denver just happens to finish the exact same spot. Nothing exciting about this story. Homer outplayed Jokic this time statistically, but still. To the Warriors with LaMelo Ball, congratulations. Congratulations, Golden State. You finally made the right call. Homer versus LaMelo. Come on, brother. You got to get out of the first round, right? You've Oh, nice. A sweep. Nice and easy. Round two, though. Um, Yeah, those Thunder. Uh, a full 90 overall starting lineup. This is going to be a murder. I am like ashamed of these Nuggets. This isn't even going to be... Oh, they took it to seven. This was probably Homer's best playoff run. Well, other than winning two rings, averaging a triple double, but it's the thunder. Victor Wembignana has taken the reins from Homer. Four MVPs to Homer's three. And after those first two rings for Homer and the Pels, it's been the thunder three years in a row. Victor got one too. I just don't see this Nuggets duo of Homer and Jokic winning anything. And now Homer's 32 years old. As predicted, the Nuggets struggling. Now the six seed. Homer Alienovich Jr. the third, very consistent at this point in his career, but it's just not spectacular. I'm worried this is going to be another first round exit for the Nuggets too. I am worried and I, I shouldn't have been. Okay. Round two against the Rockets. The Rockets might be beatable. I mean, all Homer and Jokic have to do is play like the MVPs that they are. Oh my word, conference finals. This might be it. The later in his career resurgence. The T-Wolves are led by Bagayoka, Booker, and Buzelis. But the Denver Nuggets have added Jeremy Sohan. I just noticed that. Oh my goodness. Is this, is this what I think it is? It's a Nuggets playoff final. 
finals experience. The Nuggets finally make it back to the finals or to the finals for the first time with Jokic and Alienovic. And look at this. Homer's taking a backseat. Jokic is putting the team and the alien on his back. Um, what? Why is Luka always coming through to ruin my dreams? It's been a minute, Homer. It's been a minute. Can you do it, brother? Yeah, 1-1. One, one. This is going to be a good series. Oh, no. Game six. Oh, my goodness. Heartbreak City again. Again for Homer Alienovich Jr. the third. At least he didn't choke this up. Wait a minute. Nine of 24 from the field, four of 15. Again in the finals, he choked. This is his final year in Denver, unless he chooses to re-sign, which uh, I personally don't think is a great idea. And there it is. The Nuggets finish seventh in the West, the worst finish of Homer's career. Homer and Jokic had some magic last year in the playoffs, but Jokic is old. He's 37 and old, man. I don't see it. I don't see it happening. Maybe they'll prove me wrong, or maybe they will. I was about to say they lost. Nope, they, they did take round one. Fair enough. Round two. Oh, that's a beatable Spurs team. What in the world? Old man Jokic and the alien? Are they about to do it? Sweeping their way to the finals? The Thunder are ruining my dreams everywhere else. Are they about to do it again? Are the Thunder about to do it Fatality. again? Yeah, they did. Of course. Of, co of course they did, man. Who? The OKC Thunder. Four rings in five years. Homer has been absolutely blocked from ever succeeding again. It appears he's done with the Denver experiment, but at age 33, who is going to pay him? Who's going to give him a shot? And who is going to support this man to a hopeful successful season oh no i don't know maybe he met a nice female enjoys the legalized weed and uh yeah he's he's content in denver fair enough in season number 10 the nuggets added mikey williams and mj rice they were a two seed and they lost round one to the pelicans okay see another championship in season 11 koa pete ended homer's 10-year streak of winning defensive player of the year at age 35 his numbers were starting to drop however the nuggets did make the west finals and lost to okc who won uh yet again season 12 homer finally fell off the 99 cliff and the Nuggets would lose in round one to OKC who'd win their seventh title in eight years. In season 13, Homer now in 95 would lose in round one this time to the Clippers, although OKC finally lost. And in season 14 at age 38, a 92 overall. Well, you've heard this story before, a playoff loss to the Thunder with Utah winning a championship. The final five seasons of Homer Alienovich Jr. the third's career were not very good. I'm not going to lie to you all. He retires at age 38 after 14 years in the NBA. All told, an obvious Hall of Famer, he entered the class with Luka Doncic one year after Jason Tatum. Very fitting. Homer's final stat line for his career, 24 points, 9 rebounds, 8 assists per game. Honestly, not as great as you'd think from a 99 overall off rim. His career started so promising, winning back-to-back -back MVPs. He added a third in his fifth season, but never again after that. He won two championships to start his career and then was blank the rest of the way as well. The one spot, there was no denying Homer Alienovich Jr. the third though was DPOY. He won 10 straight. They might as well rename that award. Ultimately though, Homer's career won giant question mark. What if he never left the New Orleans Pelicans? He might've had it all.